Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. I am standing 30 kilometers away from the Mauritanian border and I will be crossing into Mauritania today. It is my first border crossing and I have no clue what to expect whatsoever. So yeah, I will jump in the car now. I have prepared everything already and then I will find out how difficult it will be. So, 10 kilometers to go and just before the border there is a fuel station. I try to get rid of all my leftover Moroccan dirham because they are most probably more or less useless in Mauritania. I guess I'm close to the border. The truck queue is huge, I hope that's not mine. But first, let's go for refuel. Now I'm ready to go to the border. I think it is just there. All the trucks queuing, that doesn't look good. I hope that I don't have to be in this exact queue because that looks like it will take forever. There is just one way to find out. This on the left here is the local police station and I will get to know it a lot better as I would have wanted. And yes, from the inside. I will let you know also what I have prepared for the border and in the end what you actually need. I mean, I haven't prepared a lot. It's just my paperwork, some cash, because the visa for, for yourself and for the car, it costs money. I heard that you can pay this in euros, but anything else, I have no clue. It's just a matter of figuring out where the exact offices are and how to get there. And everything else should be relatively easy, but um, I don't know yet. So I will let you know and I try to film as much as possible if I am allowed to. The queue is not too long, but it is also just the first border to leave Morocco. So it is not too... it, it doesn't look too difficult so far, it looks very obvious. But um, things might change after I have crossed out of Morocco. It is interesting and exciting. There was a fight going on already with the police. I don't know what that was about, but it was uh, 
quite interesting to, to watch. I already got some offers to be crossed through the border, which is quite common here, but I declined because I want to try myself and I will figure it out how it works. It is, it is exciting, it is part of the adventure. Everything is very, very friendly so far. That was, it was not an issue to get here, to jump the line of the trucks. It seems to be normal. Every passenger vehicle is doing that. It is a wonderful experience. <laughs> it is part of the adventure and it will happen many, many more times on the way down to South Africa. So the first step is done. I was just in one office, got my stamp out of my passport and now I have to wait for some agent to write something on my temporary import permit and then I have to go back into the office where the next step is happening. Who knows what it is. Okay, things have changed slightly. I am now queuing for the scanner. It will take a long, long time, I guess. And um, once this is done, I can then get my stamp on the temporary import permit and hopefully exit at some point. It is 10 o'clock in the evening and I'm still at the Moroccan border. I was driving in a police car today. I was held at the border patrol and yeah, I almost got fined, but luckily I did not have to pay anything. Basically what happened was that I got scanned or that my car got scanned and they found my drone. Um, and although I have not used it in Morocco and I could actually prove it, they yeah, insisted to keep the drone here. It got uh, confiscated. I'm not allowed to take the drone out of Morocco, even though I'm leaving the country here. Tomorrow I will cross the border. Today it was closed already. It took ages. It took them more than 10 hours to fill out all the papers. I had to go from one place to the other place. I was literally a criminal today. In the end of the day I have to leave my drone here and tomorrow I can cross into Mauritania. I was very frustrated before and I tried everything to being able to keep my drone but there is no chance that I can keep my drone. Basically I lost 1,000 euros today, which is great, yay! It's very cold outside, so let me go inside quickly. So tomorrow I will try again um, to cross into Mauritania and fingers crossed it will go well tomorrow.
Good morning. It is 6 a.m. The prayer calls have woken me up properly now. Although over the last two hours there have been cars arriving at the border as I'm just standing next to it. Dogs have been barking all night long but at least I am right next to the border and hopefully everything goes quick today.